Hi, good evening to you both. Now, Luis Martinez has been charged with assault, reckless endangerment, and more. He was arraigned from his hospital bed this afternoon, and the judge says, based on the fact that he does have a criminal history and he has threatened other family members, he set his bond high at $1.5 million. I know what I feel. It's resentment towards him. I want him to get life in prison. Taina Martinez was raised by 67 year old Wilfredo Martinez. She watched as he died in her arms on Monday. I'm holding him, telling him, Pa, don't leave me, don't leave me yet, don't leave me. And I'm out here pumping his heart, see if I can make it pump or something. And I guess it wasn't enough. Police say just before 3 p.m., Wilfredo died after getting into a fight with his son, Lewis, at 27 Platt Street. Taina was there with her cousin, Isabel. They say Lewis was working on the house but was drunk. When he drinks, he's out of control. Legit, he will be out of control. He'll fight anybody. Taina and Isabel say Lewis took a wooden stick and hit his father with it several times in the chest and back. Wilfredo had a serious heart condition and a pacemaker. They say Lewis knew that. Lewis came through like around him and was telling him like, oh, die, die, spitting on him and stuff, just saying the most obscure stuff ever. This is a rather uh, egregious incident. Facing charges from his hospital bed on Wednesday, the case being laid out by state's attorney Maureen Platt. She says the medical examiner told her Wilfredo died of a cardiac incident in the midst of the fight. I asked uh, Dr. Weirich uh, what he was going to classify as the manner of death. He said uh, to me that he was tentatively classifying it as a homicide. In the meantime, they're expecting more charges to be brought against Lewis. If he can get life, even better. He took my father, my dad, something I will never get back. Never. He was such a loving, caring man. He, he was amazing. That's, that's all I can say. Now, Lewis is also facing charges, and he's even wanted in other states, including a pending case out of Naugatuck right here in Connecticut. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll learn more about his relationship with his father and what really led up to this deadly attack. We're live here in Waterbury. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.